All right, hello everyone. I'm here to show you how to use a uh, microscope attachment that you can get fairly cheaply on Amazon uh, to change your phone and air server into a microscope. Uh, so you can do this through virtual learning environments or on your screen in your classroom. Uh, so first I'll just show you where you can get them. I just found ours on Amazon. Uh, this isn't exactly the one that I purchased, but you can see it's got a clip. Uh, and the one that I purchased has a, uh, a little clip and uh, a spot where it fits over top of the camera lens on your phone. Uh, and they're about 20 bucks. Uh, you can pay as much as 40. I guess you could probably pay even more than that. But ours is a 60 times. Uh, also comes with a light as well, so you can see that. Uh, the light, uh, you can either shine a blue light or a white light. Um, and, or off. So I'll just show you that. It takes AAA batteries, or mine does anyway. Um, and uh, the next thing I'm going to show you here is I'm just going to bring up uh, Air Server, uh, bring up my bring up my uh, Air Server stuff here. So I'll type in my magic code. If you want to know how to do this, uh, the instructions for this are in the Air Server tutorial that I made last week, uh, and you can check those out. Uh, so you'll see that I've got Air Server opened, uh, and now it's as simple as opening up your camera. Uh, you can see I've got some fake money that we use. I've got a, a leaf and I've got a piece of uh, onion skin that we're going to look at to look at the details of those. Uh, with 60 times magnification, it's a little tough. Uh, zooms, it, zooms in quite far, but I use the light on my screen to adjust where, the, uh, where it overlaps. Uh, a nice bright light helps you get it centered. So you can see I'm centered there. Uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on, uh, you, can, you can see it without the light, uh, I'm on the um, I'm on the fake dollar bill. Uh, there's an adjustment for, of course, focus. Uh, so you can see the individual uh, dots, the colored dots. That's an interesting thing to talk to kids about. Um, and then if I take a coin, it's harder to see, but if I turn the light on, it should make a difference here. There's the blue light first. Not so great. Oh, there's my table, the teak table. You can see the individual grains. Uh, and then I will turn the white light on. This, this really brightens things up. So you can, I'm on the bill right now, and you can see the individual dots on the bill. Um, super, super handy. The other thing that you can do while you're at it is you can snap a photo. So I can snap a photo of what I'm looking at. Uh, it's a little hard to keep it steady because it's 60 times. Of course, it's... Um, it's very, 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 uh, very small adjustments make for large adjustments in the optical scale, 60 to 1. Um, I'm going to get this piece of onion skin here, see if I can get it flat enough to get a, a nice bead on the, uh, the way it looks. This I might have to focus a little bit. And you can look at the individual, and you can see it. This isn't stained at all. If it was stained, we might be able to see individual cells a little better. I'm going to try the blue light with it. Maybe that's, that'll be even more handy. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Um, I'll snap a picture of that. And I will try to zoom even further here. Let's see. The benefit of, of uh, actually taking a photo when you're doing this is that at some point you can have further inspection on it um, with a steady hand. So I can have a look at my photos now. I'll just take this off. You can see that I'm right here. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to look at my photo reel um, in my phone and you'll see that I have my all photos and you can zoom in on them so you can look at the structures in here had this been dyed and maybe my light been a little bit better than in my basement uh, I might be able to see although you can see the structure in here you can see how the, uh, the cell walls are there um, which is interesting so this could be shared remotely through virtual learning environments or you could also share it um, with your with your students right on the screen in your classroom um, I think this is a very, very handy, uh, handy thing. This is with the white light. You can see the structure. If I 
the other thing is I think that from what I recall about um, uh, my biology classes, if you had a more live sample and dyed it, you'd have a much better visual. The, um, the piece I had was just a, you know, the brown part on the outside of the onion. But here is a picture of the, the fake bill. And of course, on the fake bill, you can't see any of these individual color dots. But once you've zoomed in, you can really see uh, the parts in there. Um, this is a picture that I took of a letter on, uh, uh, on, on my desk. And I didn't have the light attached at that point, or did, didn't have it turned on at that point. So it didn't turn out as clear. Anyway, that's all I have to show you today. Uh, but thank you very much for your time. And I uh, hope this helps. If you have any questions, I'm at C Gamble, uh, and of course you can reach me through the Teams tutorial page or um, at uh, on Twitter too at, at CS Gamble. Bye everyone.